Well, I can't say enough about our equipment staff. They provide us really with pretty much everything that we need to, to be able to do our jobs. Shoulder pads, shoes, uh, helmets, mouthpieces, uh, different padding, and just having everything ready for us. Uh, they do a great job. Meet Brendan Murphy, head equipment manager for the New England Patriots. Murphy started as a Patriots ball boy in 2008. In 2013, he joined the team as a full-time equipment assistant, continuing in that role for four seasons. In 2016, he was promoted to the head position, the youngest head equipment manager in the National Football League. When I first started, it was an exciting experience. You know, at that point in my life, I didn't really know where I was going or what I wanted to do. All right, watch your ears. As I started to, to be around this facility and the people that work here, and I started to grow up and mature myself, uh, I really started to come into my own and realize that this was actually something that I began to be very interested in. And it wasn't long before I knew it's exactly what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. Rich, Ivan was saying that he needs a guy right after stretch okay. to hold a shield. Perfect. What are we doing? It's off its scheme fundamentals, but we're gonna need you to grab a shield, whatever Ivan needs. There was just an opening and uh, it, it kind of just, just happened. I definitely was excited for the opportunity, nor did I think that at this point in my life I would be uh, in the head position, but uh, I'm very grateful and, and it, it's worked out very well for me. Look good. What are the responsibilities of the equipment manager? Okay, no Maybe the better question is, what isn't their job? Joe, five minutes! It's providing equipment and gear for nearly 150 players, coaches, and staff. Players are very picky uh, in this league. Oh, the actual ball? You want it painted? Yeah, sure. Is it in your locker? We have every single thing you can think of from razors to shaving cream, deodorant, face wash. This is all Nike here. Every single aisle is full. Travel suits here each individual hat that we have. This is where I keep most of my lineman cleats, winter and cold weather gear. This continues the shoe run here, all the way from there, over, down, and all the way to the front, it's all pants. You know, I try to learn everybody's, you know, needs. You gotta know what they like, what they don't like. Uh, 3X? Yep. Yep. Here. Thank you. You're welcome. You know, there's some guys that need gloves every quarter. What type of socks uh, they want or, more importantly, don't want. I can have the guys run inside, get you a new pair if you want. But I can make it so that it'll get you through here. One time I saw him deliver uh, another player during a preseason game after warm-ups. He, his, a little sweat went, dropped into his shoes, and he requested that Brendan dry his shoes off real quick because he's going to use them in the preseason game and he went and did that actually it was the craziest request but brendan on top of his game went and did that and i was like wow he does it all brendan is does it all i do know pretty much everything from their socks their cleats their shirt size their pant size their belt size their helmet their if they like a skull cap or not what kind of hat they like what kind of glove they like you know all that you name it they, they really take care of all our needs Besides being in charge of the entire home locker room, Brendan and his staff have to pack a tremendous amount of gear. We travel with around 20,000 pounds of stuff. Equipment, trunks, cases, 80 or so cases, about 140, 145 bags. But yeah, it totals just to about, about 21,000 pounds. A minimum of 10 times a year onto buses and planes to set up the visitor's locker room. This will be basically all trucks, this whole truck. That's all the bags will fit. Our job is done uh, Monday through Saturday. Sunday is the coaches and the players day for them to do what they do. And we have every single type of glove that any of these players could possibly need. Ankle footies, crew socks, tights, long tights, short sleeve shirt, long sleeve shirt all the way over to every single one of our tools that we have over there, all the way down to the, to the gum that I'm chewing. Rain suits, even though it's not supposed to rain, still have to bring it. This is just our inventory that we have for the players in case they need it. We really take pride in being able to provide a game day experience that 
is equipment free. They already have what they need. They don't need to come in here and get anything. They don't need to ask for anything. They show up, what's in their locker is exactly what they want and what they need, and then they can go out on the field and perform. One of the job requirements, being in shape. It certainly helps that the Patriots have one of the youngest equipment staffs in the league. I think that that's part of this job that a lot of people don't realize from the outside looking in. Um, it's, it's not only the, the practice, but on, on a daily basis, I mean, these guys are pushing laundry carts around that, that get heavy when they're full of wet laundry. We're on our feet all day. When you do go to practice, yeah, it's pretty much nonstop. A player can't miss a play because one of my guys or myself is not hustling to fix or give them whatever they need. That's unacceptable. Definitely take you know, our equipment staff in any seven on seven flag football or basketball. Uh, we got a pretty athletic staff. We're a younger crew than there is around the league, so um, I think that's an advantage. It's fun, though. We love it. I think Devin said that he'd take your guys in a seven-on-seven -seven game against anybody. <laughs> uh, yeah, I would. They can throw, they can catch, and they can run. I know that for sure. Okay. Catching passes from Tom Brady might seem like a big deal to others, but for Murphy, he's just doing his job. Didn't take me very long to, to, to realize that culture around here, and I've carried that through to this day. This is my job, I love it, and that's all I'm here to do. The new locker room's incredible. I'm so excited about that. One of the key features that has made my life easier is the, is the LED board that goes around the top of that locker room with the nameplate side. It's so nice to be able to change the names just kind of with the click of a button. It's just a clean look, clean, safe environment, beautiful. I, I'm very happy with it. There is no room for mistakes and there is no time to be behind. I've always said that a good day in the equipment room is a day that you're not noticed. So we try to, to, to go by that and if I can get through the day without nobody realizing I'm here then we've done a good job. It's almost like a family in this place. It's really rewarding to come to work every day. You just grow to love it and you feel like you're part of one whole thing, but that's exactly the key, is we are one small part of a giant thing. We want to be the best you know, equipment staff for this team. On the next episode of Do Your Job, meet the longest tenured employee with the New England Patriots, Nancy Meyer.